You're as sharp as ever. I saw it all on the news. How awful. I have something, but I don't know how useful it will be. No, tell me. You know how Shoko was a representative of that investment company? Yeah. They were part of a massive fraud scheme. Really? That's right. And they were in bed with the Kumakuras, the Yakuza gang. So maybe... The Kumakuras killed her? I don't know for sure, but they were capable of it. Maybe Shoko did something to piss off the wrong people, and they punished her for it. Hmm, that's unusual. Not a bourbon. I'm working. I drink at work all the time. We have very different occupations. It's kind of the same. I make people throw up, you make people throw up the truth. I've been okay. How are you, Date, honey? I don't see you around here much anymore. I've been busy. You used to come all the time. You and Ren, grumbling over your glasses of bourbon. Laughing, drowning each other's sorrows. Sometimes getting into arguments. One time it even became a real fight, you remember that? Really? Oh, yes. You don't remember? <laughs> your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Ren was furious, yelling about how this watch is more important than my life, or whatever. He blew up on you. That was the only time I've ever seen Ren that mad. That's why I remember it so well. Yeah, his favorite watch. He got it from his new lover. An anniversary gift. Oh, this was, of course, after the divorce. <laughs> Ren was so happy, he showed it off to me. He's had that watch on him ever since. It's been a while. I have no idea. What's wrong with Ren? I'll contact you if I get anything. Please do. This is a painting of Saint Sebastian. Saint Sebastian was a faithful Christian who lived under Roman Emperor Diocletian. 
On January 20th, 288 AD, he was martyred. This painting depicts his execution. Shoko was involved in illegal activities. Perhaps the rental phone was used for that purpose. The Kumakuras. They have a relationship with Renju. I remember him telling me that. <coughs> Do you want to pay them a visit? Yeah. I hope it won't cause problems. <laughs> here as a customer. I need to talk to someone about something. Jeez, kid. Excuse me. showed up. When was the last time he came here? Hmm, let me think. He's just the owner, not the manager, so he comes sometimes, but not all that often. By the way, I didn't introduce myself yet. I'm Konami Dante of the Metropolitan Police Department. You're a detective? Something like what we call the customers. Us mermaids serve the Sea Kings. And we really are mermaids, you know. Don't tell anyone. What? Everyone working here is a real mermaid. But you have legs. They were a gift from Poseidon. We were given legs and feet. So that we can gather riches okay. and foreign currency in the labor market. Dante, let's go. No, not yet. To learn. Do not listen to her siren song. <laughs> Date, I must be the bearer of bad news. Even with X-ray, her clothes will not turn transparent. Your heart rate and blood pressure is rising. The concentration of phenylethylamine in your blood is rising rapidly. What are you excited about? No, haven't seen him. Is this related to what happened at Bloom Park? The body on the merry-go-round was Renju's ex-wife. That she was Mizuki's mom? Did she change her name or something? Mizuki saw her own mother's dead body, and I just left her there and ran away like a coward. I'm such a piece of shit. I should have stayed. I 
I should have done something. Why did I do that? Oh, is it eating you up inside, Ota? Yeah, seriously. You're sitting here adding up your options? But you can order two, Date! That's not why I'm mad, Ota. <laughs> it's not a spear. It belongs to Poseidon. God of the sea. You know, a trident. <laughs> why do you have that? We treat our customers like lords of the sea. We give them these tridents. It's like a little ranking system we do. The color changes depending on your rank. There's bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and at the very top, or a calcum. So it basically measures how much money you've spent on these girls. Well, that doesn't sound very nice. <laughs> it's more like a way to exploit their vanity separate our customers from their money as much as possible. That sounds even worse. I'm still gold. Not that good. How much did you spend to get that? Um, about 200,000 yen. Damn. I suddenly understand why someone would want to kill another human. Because... I'm worried about Tessa. Iris, what's the matter? Yesterday night. Well, it was past midnight, so more like this morning? I don't care about the timing. What happened? Tessa was streaming, as usual, from her living room at home. But suddenly... Actually, let me just show you. I always record her streams. One hour into the stream, so about 2 a.m.? That's weird, right? Someone coming to visit at 2 in the morning, and then she leaves? She looked really serious, too. I was worried about her, so I tried to call, but she didn't answer. She didn't read any of my Nile messages, either. I thought maybe the people at Sunfish Pocket would know something. Tessa used to work here. She made a lot of friends. I'm one of them. I don't know what she's up to. I asked the other girls too. No one knows anything. Iba, call Iris. The number you are attempting to dial is either offline or unavailable. No way. Anyway, prophecies are simply not. Something wrong, sir? Uh, no, nothing. 
something. I wonder if Tess is okay. <laughs> I'm so worried about her, I can barely eat. You look like you can eat just fine. Sure am. I come here whenever I've got time and money. I was here yesterday, too. Around 6.30, I think. But I couldn't get in. I saw a sign at the entrance that said the whole place got rented out for some party. But I came all the way to Akihabara, you know? I didn't want to just go home. So I bought a new one. A new what? A phone? I dropped my old one in a puddle, remember? Dante, Ranju is not at this location. We have other areas we need to search. Yeah, you're right. Who's this asshole? <laughs> you made a big mistake coming here. Go home. All right. Bye then. Hey, Date. What? Ugh, I hate dealing with these chumps. Didn't you hear me? Do you want to die, old man? <laughs> you bet! <laughs> Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. A cop, huh? You look like tier one. <laughs> so, you want to explain what the fuck a cop is doing in my office? I think we should exchange names before exchanging expletives. Name's MoMA, the war horse. Don't give a fuck what your name is. All right, MoMA. I have a few things I want to ask you. Two days ago at Bloom Park, a woman's corpse was found. Have you heard the name Shoko Nidami? Sure have. How? Heard it on the news. The media is making a real fuss about this new serial killer. Can't help but hear about it. Nothing to say to you. There would be no point in talking to him in that state. If I make a wish, will it come true? That is not Shenron. I have no idea what you're talking about, cop. You must have gotten some bad info. Don't know nothing about her. I know her face and her name. It was on the news. Nothing else. <laughs> what? The chairman is right in front of you. What? I run the Kumakura game. I'm Moma Kumakura. That can't be right. The chairman of the Kumakuras is Rohan. You aren't the chairman. Yo, asshole. You need a lesson in manners? Dutton, wait. I did some research and discovered that Rohan Kumakura died last year. He leapt to his death from the roof of the building. A suicide. But MoMA did not take over last year. MoMA took over six years ago. Six years ago. Fuck no. Why would we do that? 
Dutton, look at this. A thermograph from when you inquired about Shoko. Body temperature rising. Red hot lie. It appears that way. How do I get him to come to me? Remove his fingernails one by one. Not my style. Blackmail him? Blackmail. Find his weakness and threaten him with it. Let's examine the room. Perhaps we may discover one of his secrets. There's a hidden safe behind the crest. There is something inside. I recognize that. It's just like the one I saw at Matsushita Diner. An Aset figure. Correct. But why is that there? Unknown, <sighs> but perhaps. Hey, you wouldn't happen to be a fan of Aset, would you? What? Who's that? A schoolgirl internet idol. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Think you can get away with talking to our boss like that? Tough as bricks and hard as nails. Never being a pussy shit like that, fucker. Shadows. Threat a silhouette ASAP. Water. Wet a sweat ASAP. ASAP, you bet. Fears. Upset, uh, regret, ASAP! Just as I thought. Boss? What's this? Sh shut up! Don't look at me! Get out of here! Did you hear me? I said get the fuck out of here! Y yes, sir. I've got your secret now. If you don't want that to get out, you better answer my questions. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Us Kumakuras are a branch of the Ujisaki family. The Ujisaki family runs a yearly golf tournament. Mandatory attendance. We were all at the tournament those days. We only got back this morning. You've been asked a hotel, they'll tell you. Dutton, I did some research. The hotel's record of guests does list the Kumakura members. They were also seen on several surveillance cameras. It is not possible that any of the Kumakuras could have killed Shoko, including Moma. How did you know? You're hiding an ASAP figure in the safe. How did you know that? I have superpowers. Yeah, sure. Right. We do have connections with the investment company Shoko worked at. A company that commits fraud. No comment. Anyway, we never had any problems with Shoko. There'd be no reason for us to kill her. No point hiding it, right? Yeah, I know about Shoko's ex. Do you know where he is? Nope, sure don't. It's not like we keep in touch or anything. I detect no abnormalities in his thermograph. Looks like he's not lying. Hey, Moma, I've got a favor to ask. Can you get me information on Renju? His whereabouts, rumors on where he might be, anything. I need some leads. And what if I refuse? Then your gang finds out you're the world's biggest ASAP fan. In exchange for helping me, there's a reward in it for you. A reward? I'll let you meet ASAP. What? I met her yesterday at Lemniscate. Acquaintances now. 
Really? Yeah. You promise? Yeah, I promise. Rohan was my older brother. He was my big brother in this organization, and my blood brother. But he's gone now. A suicide. Yeah, after breaking out of the hospital. About 20 years back, both he and I were the new guys in the Ujisaki family. The Ujisakis are above the Kumakuras in the hierarchy. At the time, we were in a turf war with a rival gang. One day, one of their boys walks in here and beats my bro's face in with a metal bat. His vision's been fucked on the right side ever since. The doctors say he can still see. But it doesn't register. Like, he only eats food off the left side of his plate. And if he's drawing a picture or whatever, he only draws the left side. Date, a question for Moma. Is Rohan left-handed? Why? Just ask him, please. Yeah, he was. Confirmed. Rohan must suffer from hemispatial neglect on his right side. As you are aware, the brain is divided into what is called the right brain and left brain. One side develops into the superior hemisphere, responsible for language and higher functions. The other side controls spatial recognition ability. In most people, the superior hemisphere is the left brain. In roughly one third of the population, the right brain is the superior hemisphere. This is often linked to left-handedness. MoMA just confirmed that Rohan was left-handed. From this, we can conclude that his right brain was his superior hemisphere, and his left brain was the inferior hemisphere. Rohan suffered a beating on the left side of his head. That must have damaged his left brain. That caused him to lose his spatial cognitive ability. Anyway, after getting the shit beaten out of him, he changed, man. He became cold-blooded. I'm talking ruthless. One time, we captured some street bosses from a rival gang. Bro grabbed him by the big toe and took a potato peeler to him, from the toe to the thigh. Totally blank expression, like he was scraping bonito flakes. Anyway, sick fuckers like that always end up running the world, don't they? He started climbing the ranks, and eventually, he was taken in by the Ujisaki family boss. The Ujisakis decided to make him head of our gang, and that's how we became the Kumakuras. About six years ago, I remember him telling me about something big. Some threat to the Kumakuras that could bring us all down. He didn't give me the details, but... I figured it was something from his past coming back to bite him in the ass, you know? Anyway, his plan was to handle his shit internally. Didn't want too many people knowing about it. But whatever he planned, didn't work. When the chips were down, he decided to handle it himself. He ended up shooting some guy in his house. A few days later, cops busted him. Prosecution tried to get him on premeditated murder, but it was determined that he was insane at the time. Maybe they were right, you know? His head's been getting worse and worse for the past 20 years. It's relapses and all that. Anyway, they decided to keep him in a special hospital. And naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. The Kumakuras appear to be unrelated to the investigation. It was still worth it just to find out Loma is an ASAP fan. <laughs> 